Hey Scorpio, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for your fate from May 20th to June 20th. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Scorpio. Um, I do have personals on sale right now. They're 33.33 for a three-question video reading. You'll get it within three business days. We're going to go ahead and begin. All the details are in the description box down below this video, of course. Let's see what we have here for you. This is for Scorpio. Your overall energy is the Two of Wands. Two of Wands can be an offer. It can be a card of planning, initiative. So initiative could, um, somebody could be taking like initiative towards you here. Possibly an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. We've got Aquarius, Pisces energy out here as well as Earth. You know, I think that there has been a stuck energy in your presence in a situation for quite some time. Um, some of you, there could have been this energy too of like two, um, one step forward, two steps back. You know, you could have gotten out of Eight of Swords and it's like, wow, I'm right back in Eight of Swords. Like, what's going on? You know, um, and this could have even been in different situations. Like maybe there was like a dead end job and then you move to a new job and it's another, you know, it's just the same thing, right? I feel like you're getting out of that energy because you start off with the hangman. Like this is very stagnant energy, but it's also this energy of surrender so I think for a lot of you you've been trying to take in what's going on in the present moment and figure out you know like what am I supposed to be learning from this and how can I stop repeating this right whether that be in relationships workplace whatever the case may be but you know I also feel the hangman is this energy of you having waited you know, you having waited on something here. And we do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Star. Like, this is an offer here, and it's an offer you wished for. It's an offer you wished for. It's an offer you've waited on, I'm telling you. And then we have the Six of Swords showing up right here. So this could have to do with a move, all right? But this is you finally moving, like progressing out of that Eight of Swords energy. Some of you, this could be a person that you have been, like, you know, and, and this has happened to everyone, right? So this is not me p poking it fun at anyone, okay? But literally some of you have maybe begged the universe to like allow you to move on from somebody to just heal you, you know, to just heal your heart and allow you to get away from that energy and stop thinking about it because you know it's not good for you, right? So I think for some of you that could be um, an energy that you've been in for quite some time and I think that the universe is like pushing you forward here. Let's see what else we have, Scorpio. It's interesting because for a lot of you, I feel like, I feel like for some of you, either the offer that comes in closes doors, like it closes a door and that's the emphasis or it opens a door and that's the emphasis. That's one of the two here. So it's like there could be a new job offer, for example, maybe you have felt like all doors are shut for a while. For others of you, maybe you have felt like one door has been left open for a while. And for some, maybe you were wishing for an offer from this person or some clarity, some closure from this person and seven of wands, you were shut out, right? You were shut out. But I feel like for a lot of you, that's finally coming in. Like a person has been like left alone with their thoughts. Like it's that kind of energy here in the four of swords. Like they've been left alone with their thoughts. And I feel like they're trying to right their wrongs. Some of you, this could actually be something that they are like a program that they are a part of making amends, right? It could be something like that that's going on here as well because the hangman can be like dependencies and things of that nature. So they could be trying to heal themselves. And so that's part of, that's part of it, right? Um, so this person could be trying to right their wrongs and this could be helping you to move forward and just feeling like, you know, thank you for that, right? With the six of swords energy being present here. Um, but for others of you, like this could definitely be a job offer that you've been waiting on here. And it could come from like someone in the family or someone who knows somebody here in the family, like the empress. It could have to do with an older woman, but it doesn't have to. But six of wands energy is a card of recognition, high honor, victory, achievement, success. So I really feel like there's a big offer coming in here for you guys. It's going to lead to abundance. I'm telling you with the, with the Empress showing up, I feel like this is something that like closes a karmic cycle out here and it, it begins something new here that you wish for. Three of Cups. Yeah. I mean, you're celebrating. I mean, you've literally got Six of Wands, Empress, Three of Cups. Like this is offer of a lifetime type of energy here. You planting new seeds, somebody wanting to collaborate with you. The number three is going to be significant here for you guys. So, you know, that being said, like that's the energy of creation and expression. I feel like you could have more creative freedom. Like if this is a job, like you could have more creative freedom here. I would be cautious of a fire sign here trying to return to you or a fire sign who just seems deceptive right off the bat. 
Um, it just seems like they're wishy-washy or they're, you know, they're out for one thing. So, or it could be a fellow Scorpio here, a fire sign or a fellow Scorpio who could just kind of have that, they could just carry that energy. And that could be spirit being like, hey, you want another eight of swords cycle or do you want, do you want forward movement here? Let's pick forward movement. Let's not, you know, let's not toy with this energy here because it might be a little bit fun, you know? So, um, because it's not going to be fun later, <laughs> right? So, um, I think that's something else that spirit is just really trying to push you forward and out of alignment with these energies and allow you to start planting new seeds here. Some of you, you could end up in a commitment in the month of June with a Taurus or a Libra here, or a bond could strengthen with a Taurus or a Libra here um, in the month of June. But I feel like there's a lot of a lot of progress and forward movement because of this offer that's come in here. And for some of you, like I said, it may be more of an offer of closure, you know, than it is like an offer of commitment, right? Um, but for most of you, I do feel like it's, it's a job, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Scorpio. I hope this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon. But if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.